This is a follow-up to my video showing the Rigol DP832 performing well outside of spec when you cross-connect current from one channel and return it to a different channel's ground. Rigol responded with a document confirming and explaining the problem, although they referred to any cross-connection as an improper connection, which is a bit bold given that it's impossible to power any multi-rail circuit any other way. But misleading wording aside, they did suggest a last resort of connecting the negative terminals together with, and I quote, a rather thick lead. By my calculations, you want about 1mm diameter wire as a minimum to bring the supply just within its spec. I would demonstrate this to you now, but I've already modified this particular supply by taking the front cover off and soldering a wire directly to the rear of the terminals, except I used 3mm diameter wire or more like 3mm diameter rod, just for overkill. So let's give it a test. So we've got both channels uh, not shorted out, 1 volt of both channels, 3 amp current limit, just like the previous video. And you can see 1 volt across channel 2 here. So if I short out channel 3, just like last time, there's no change apart from a little bit of messing around in the least, least significant digit there. So what if we move this, return the current from channel 3 plus into channel 2 minus? Now in the previous video, before the modification, we saw a drop of 57 millivolts in the display here. So let's see what happens now. One millivolt drop. Absolutely negligible. So the question now is, when Rigol called in these units to replace the overheating top board, why didn't they tell the technicians to solder a bit of wire onto the terminals then? Why tell users to perform a hack with external wires? There's no technical reason to leave the terminals separate. The terminals are already shorted together, just only through the voltage sense wires. I suspect the real reason is cost. Admitting fault, repairing all units in the field, and retooling factory lines would be a very expensive proposition. It's worth keeping a spug in context too. At 3 amps, you're generally going to drop a lot more voltage on your supply cables than the error introduced by this bug. But at the end of the day, the PSU is performing outside of spec, and this will confuse some fraction of users. So hopefully, this will be the last supply from Rigol to have this bug. Thanks for watching.